What's going on, everybody? Today I'm going to be talking about No Man's Sky, which is a PS4 exclusive, and I also think it's available for the PC. Now, No Man's Sky, I am really excited about. This is a very different kind of game. Now, I'm a sci-fi fan, and you know, when I hear a game about space exploration, aliens and discovering planets and everything I really get jumpy they announced No Man's Sky I say about like around 2013 at E3 and wow this game looked amazing not many people were talking about it but I just saw the potential and the promising aspect of this game and I just couldn't wait to play I couldn't wait till they drop this game this game is gonna be freaking awesome and here's why <laughs> Here's why, people. What is No Man's Sky, you ask? Well, No Man's Sky, like I said, is a space exploration game. In this game, you'll be given a spacecraft. Now, you can upgrade the spacecraft. Uh, you have to put fuel in this spacecraft. Um, travel, traveling to different locations throughout the universe will cost you fuel. So, No Man's Sky is an open space adventure game. Not an open world game because you'll be traveling more than one world in this game. You'll be going a lot of different worlds. Now, this, thing, this is like the most ambitious game I think I have ever heard of since you know, there's been a lot of ambitious games. You you know, you can't lie. Uh, yeah, there was this uh, ambitious game called Spore that came out, you know, years back. It didn't really live up to the expectations but I, I think I am backing this No Man's Sky game. I really think it might live up to the expectation. It might just cr crush our beliefs on what we think is possible in a video game. You know, no Man's Sky, like I said, is a space exploration open space game. There are quintillion, quintillion planets in this game. Now... <laughs> I don't even know what a quintillion is. I know a trillion is, but damn. Quintrillion? <laughs> now, they, you know, that is a lot of fucking planets, man. I would have, at a million, I would have said, okay, that's a lot of fucking planets, but they're going fucking quintrillion. They're going past a billion, past a trillion, to fucking quintrillion. Damn. How is that possible? Now, I'm going to tell you how this is possible. What they've done in this fucking game, what they've done, was created a mechanic, an algorithm in this game that's called procedural generation. Now, what this does, it cr the game cre develops shit. The game is developing itself while you're playing it. Isn't that fucking crazy? This means that flowers will grow out of the ground. You might be on one day, you see a tree, and they come back to it maybe like 10 hours later, or maybe like two days. I don't know exactly the amount of time, the measure of time, really, but you might come back to that tree. It, I, it might be uh, you know, a giant fucking tree. Things grow in this game. Things develop develops themselves in this game now this game is like broken up into like four different parts explore survive combat and like trading now exploring is you know it's the most part you know I'm crazy about now not all the planets in this game will be habitable okay there will be planets where you can't have it on there will be danger so I guess that's where your survival aspect kiss kicks in it's gonna be combat. In this game, you have what you call a, uh, a, a tool or a handy tool or something, and, and you know it actually dubs as a weapon. I have to see more of it, but um, looks pretty cool. You know, there's aliens in this game, there's creatures, all kind of different stuff. The measure of time in this game will actually, like I said, the procedural generation and measure of time will actually change things in this game. The game is is always in development while you're playing because it's it's never a final process it's always in development it's constantly developing itself 
which is just crazy. This is why there's going to be quintillion frickin' planets in this game. <laughs> and I guess this is why it's a PS4 exclusive. It kind of, you know, for the Xbox One fans, you know, it does kind of sucks that uh, they're not going to get this game. But as soon as it come out, you know, they're going to... But I digress. I digress. But, you know, combat, trading, you'll be able to set up trade routes in this game. What else? Now, in this game, you'll be exploring, uh, discovering things, and you have to upload it to a Atlas uh, a server or some kind of database that's called Atlas. What this does, it houses all your information, everything that you discover out there in the field, all the planets and everything. Uh, you know, like I said, this game will have fuel usage. Um, if you want to, you know, go to a planet that's very far away, you know, it's light years away, I guess, you need hi hyperdrive. You'll need hyperdrive. And that'll cost a lot of fuel, so it's a lot of, you know, cost management in this game. You really have to manage things. You know, this is not a casual game, I guess. Uh, it's going to be a real, you have to sit down and really, like, sort things out. I'm not really sure how casual it will be, how easy it will be to pick up or anything, but looking forward to it. Discovering planets always seems fun. The developers are actually challenging, you know, you. They said, okay, I cannot believe the developers of this game are actually saying that 99.9% .9 of this game won't be explored. Like, what the hell? Are they... <laughs> and then you got the fucking gamers. The fan base are saying there's no way in hell they can make a game this big. And, you know... <laughs> But the developers literally said that 99.9% .9 of the game won't be explored. Now, how the... <laughs> you know, man, they're, they're really ambitious about this game. I can't wait to play it and see what it's like. But, um... And this game will be offline and online, too, you know, internet. Now, on the online thing... You play online, you upload your information to the database. Now... They, remember that they said that no, whenever, no one's first moment with the game is going to start off the same. So you're going to start the game, and everybody who plays this game, the beginning for them is going to be different. That's how big this game is. That's the variety. No one's going to start in the same spot. And uh, it's offline, online modes, and you might discover planets. You can discover planets in this game for the first time. You can be the first one to discover it, and you can put your name on that planet. Now, you have to be online to do it, I guess. This is where the online aspect aspect kicks in, really. Um, if you're not online and you discover the planet, you can't put your name on it. You can't upload it to the Atlas database, pretty much, and... That sucks because, you know, you discovered that planet for the first time and now somebody somebody else might, you know, find that planet and take credit for it, you know. I might want to call my planet, you know, Striker X fourteen, you know, or something like that. But if I'm not online, I won't be able, you know, to take you know, to stake my claim pretty much on the planet. So everybody's gonna start off pretty much at the edge of the universe. That's where everybody going to start off that, but no one, that specific place in the edge of the inner universe is not going to be the same, I guess. Not to be in contradiction to the last thing I said when I said, okay, no one's going to start off in the same place. Remember, this game has quint trillion fucking planets, okay, so the edge of the universe is fucking huge. No, you know, when you go to planets and everything, if, if you're if you decide to be a badass and start killing all the aliens and everything, and, you know, they're going to set up wanted levels. And there's actually police bots in the game that are going to hunt after you. So if you decide to be a badass, you know, a fucking vigil, you know, a, uh, what, I, what name am I looking for? A, an evil person, pretty much. It's not going to help you. You're going to have to uh, fend off uh, police bots and everything. 
So No Man's Sky looks very promising. Can't wait to play it.